Okay, well, uh, since there's currently none out there, uh, I thought I'd just make my own. So this is my review of the uh, 2000, of the mid 2011 iMac. Uh, this is the 21 and a half inch model with the 2.8 gigahertz quad core uh, i7, um, as opposed to the i5 standard standard with the 2.7 uh, i5. The only really difference between this and the standard one is it's just a little bit faster, and the i7 will also allows for hyper-threading, giving it eight virtual cores, although I've been told it really doesn't do that much uh, for the actual performance. And it's got the full 16 gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM. Oh, run as many applications as you want. Um... So I guess I'll uh, we'll just start down here. So this is the uh, keyboard, obviously. Uh, as standard, it comes with the wireless keyboard, which doesn't have any of this stuff over here, really. Um, but you know, I've opted for the wired keyboard. Uh, a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one, I just prefer to have a wire, uh, so I don't have to worry about like changing the batteries or. Batteries are getting low, maybe, um, or are accidentally leaving it on, something like that. Um, also, and you do get the numeric, the numeric keypad, which is handy. That's you know, it's a lot easier to use, a lot faster for you know, just typing in numbers. And also, the third thing which I really like about them is you get two USB ports on the sides, one there and one on the other side, right there. And those are particularly useful. I don't know, say you want to plug in like a maybe, maybe your iPod. Oh, I think they're mostly meant for like USB mice like this. Um, and about the about the mouse, it does come also standard with the uh, the Magic Mouse right here. So there's the Magic Mouse. Um, it's good. It's, it's good about it is that a lot of applications are like meant to like use it. Like Safari, you can just like do that to go with think three fingers to just to like go back and forth uh, like back and forward between pages but uh, it's got like a like a smooth plastic finish which like if your finger if your hand gets moisture I don't know maybe like a little sweat from your fingers like you really won't like slide very well at all all right so now we're just gonna I guess go to the actual computer itself uh, you know it is an iMac so it's just you know one piece. There's no tower. So uh, right down here, Apple logo of course. And also the built-in uh, infrared sensor for the remote. Uh, this is not standard. It'll, call, it'll, it'll call, set you back another $19, but you know, you gotta have the remote, obviously. You know, duh. Uh, so let's go to the, and up here we have the, the uh, Apple FaceTime HD camera. I can go up to 720. Um, then at, on top you have the uh, the built-in microphone. Where is it? Right there. There you go. That's the microphone. And also up there is the, uh, the built-in ambient, the ambient light sensor, which you know, which will you know adjust the brightness of the of the screen based on the conditions and lighting on the current light. So on the side here we have the uh, the super drive for you know, all your CDs and DVDs, and it can also burn, you know, CDs and even up to AVC HD discs, um, and then SD card slot, which is you know only on the which is new for the iMac, and I think it's a really good thing because say you have like digital cameras or on GoPros lying around, uh, you know. It's a really good quick thing because you know you won't have like a mess of USB cables. You know you just uh, pop out the SD card and uh, stick it there. That's nice. Um, now I'm out to the back. So down here, let's start with the different ports you got. Um, you have the audio out, just you know headphones. Audio in, and that's like plugging in a I don't know another microphone. And you get four USBs, uh, one FireWire 800, 
one Thunderbolt and then one Ethernet. Uh, the only difference between this and the 27 inch in terms of these are on the 27 inch you get two Thunderbolts. Uh, the power cable obviously and on this side you have the power button. And at the top you get like I guess this is like a, a vent or something and um, if you're doing like some you know uh, exporting HD video and rendering this get pretty hot. It will, it will heat up, but as soon as you're done, it will cool down, and I will say it is very quiet. The computer, um, as opposed to like this, you know, old MacBook Pro, which is like two minutes now. I think that's like 2006, <laughs> something like that. Like, you turn it on within two minutes, it'll be like <laughs> from it, like getting really hot. So I don't know. I guess that's about it for all the outside stuff. I'm just going to turn it on now. This is the mid-2011 with Lion pre-installed. And there you go, you get the, uh, the bung. And then, there we go. And you can, as you probably noticed, this is not the, the normal thing that you get. Uh, that's because this is called uh, verbose mode. And it's basically just, you know, so you can see all the actual process is being done uh, when you turn the computer on. Uh, you could do this one way, is just, if you want to only see this once, uh, command and V when you turn it on as soon as you hear the bung. Or if you want to make it like permanent, like that. Um, I mean, not permanent, but you know, stay there. You can always turn it off. It's just done by typing a command into the terminal. Alright, so I'm just going to log in now. Uh, Okay, so uh, logging in, and there you go. So this is the desktop, and now we're just, now we're gonna switch to the uh, screen, the, uh, the screenshot, screen capture for the uh, second for the uh, review of like this line. So uh, now, pew. Okay, so this is um. I guess you know this is the desktop uh, of Lion. Uh, so when you first turn it on, it'll just be blank. Uh, in order to get this to show up, you actually have to go into the Finder settings, which is Command Comma on that, and you have to select Show Hard Disks. So click that, and if you want it to show the info underneath it, as you, you have to right click uh, Show View Options, and then. Uh, yeah, show item info. Cool. So that's that. Uh, so some new things about Lion. Uh, the App Store. Uh, Launchpad. Uh, FaceTime. And Mission Control. Mission Control is basically it's the exact same thing as Expose, just a different name. I personally like Expose. I think it's just a little classier. So that's the only difference there. Um... So yeah, another new thing you got is the for the about this Mac. When you hit more info, instead of bringing you to the standard other screen, which like opens up all that stuff over here, you get this new window, which I think is pretty nice. It's a nice little thing to have, a nice little overview, and just to keep the time shorter, you know, you could read that. You know, you don't need to, you know, need me to say it. So displays, yeah, 1920 by 1080. Uh, that's really all you need, I think. I think that the 27 inch is too big, because that's 2560 by 1440, and you know it's just kind of you know it's annoying because you know you want you want to watch HD you know, 1080p, you know 10, 1080p. That's like you know whoa, you know you want you want to watch that at the full size and it won't take up the whole screen. So you know it's messed up, and you know, you'll feel bad. So yeah, storage. You know, you got the one terabyte hard drive standard, and right there you can see the effect of uh, HD movie it uses quite a bit of space. And memory, yeah, look at that, 16 gigabytes, all four slots. That's that, pretty nice. Um, some of the new things, you have full screen applications. So I just open up Safari just to show you. Um, 
you press these two little arrows right here on the screen you know it becomes full so you got full screen safari which uh, it's kinda cool but if you look look at all the space it's just kind of dumb and it looks bad because the screen's so wide so yeah it's cool but not really useful at all at least that's what I think um, what else is new you get so a um, launch pad so a launch pad is basically just this basically just turns your screen into a giant iPad if, if you will um, except you know you can't you can't obviously you can't actually just touch it, it doesn't work but uh, it's kinda cool thing to have um, so yeah what's well, a couple things I don't like about Lion uh, there's no more iDVD so I mean if you open up iMovie you still have the option under share to uh hold on. Yeah, look, IDVD, you still have that option. But if you do you know press that, then it'll it'll just say you know, can't find IDVD. So that's pretty dumb. Um certain things don't won't no longer work, such as this, Funk Express. Uh, it'll still it'll still open up, you know. And you can see that's fast, it's faster it'll open it really quickly. But yeah. So certain things like you can't log and transfer other stuff don't work anymore. Uh so, you know, I had to convince my dad into getting new Final Cut Pro. Just this is do a little, you know, show fast computer to see how fast Final Cut Pro opens up. So there it is. It's doing this little bouncing thing. That's where I think I think they the screen recording makes it slower because it's usually a lot faster than this so yeah that's that I'll, but the screen recording is done with this little program called ScreenFlow uh, you can download it, it's normally $100 but uh, I got it at a uh, very reasonable price we'll say um, hmm. how many times have I said um so okay I guess it's basically all there is for Lion. Uh, the full screen apps, new couple of new stuff. Uh, compared to Snellopper, it's really no better. There really isn't much more useful stuff, uh, I guess. Really, I mean, it's nice and all, but really not much better. So I don't know. I guess it's better for now. Uh, if you want, if you want to, maybe the. the one of the 50 people that'll watch this, and I didn't get to something you want to see, uh, leave a you know, leave a comment or something. I don't know. Message me, whatever. So I guess yeah, it's better for now. So uh, yeah, bye.